again. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you're looking at a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And you are also looking at some acetate that I have been pulling paint with. And I've liked it so much I'm not done doing it. Only I haven't played with any more tools. And I have now got myself a nice selection of silicone basting brushes. And these need to be kept as soon as you use them, you need to put them in, in water. And not only that, take them off when you shake them off so you don't get water in your painting because it will change the consistency of the paint. So I haven't been using, oh, there are my glasses. I haven't been using any white paint. I want to do something completely different than I have been doing. And I'm just going to put my colors down and hope that I make the right choices. It doesn't matter, I'm going to be pulling these colors. Oops, I did not mean to use blue. Oops, big oops. And I might have a couple that need to be unplugged. Yeah, <laughs> okay, fine, be that way. I'm going to try not to use too much more paint than I think I need. And I'm, well, as long as I use that blue, I might as well use that blue. Um, and same with this one. Let's see if I can stick with the colors I had in mind before, though. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna have to unplug some of them. I do want some more purple in there. And I have other purples, and I want to use those too, and I haven't used any red. I'm still going to grab my stick. Nice sharp one. Makes it short order. Very similar to the other one, and did not unplug very well at all. Alright, I like this Bahama Blue, and I think I'm going to risk some of it in there. And I really want some orange. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm usually pretty lucky. So let's hope my luck continues. I might want some more white in places. I'm going to try not to put anything where I think I'm going to run into something I don't want to, to mix up with. But... Um, it's not a done deal that we know that we'll avoid that yet. Um, it looks like I have almost enough paint. I'm going to go ahead and use some of the Prussian blue in there and find my dark purple because that is, yeah, I just got to not pull in the direction. I don't want to mix the yellow and the dark purple. So I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to rotate. Oh, I missed some. I have some color left. That I really want to use some of. I am going to pull out a Princeton Arco Catalyst spatula and use the rest of that color because otherwise I may never see it again. I have to mix a new one and I know it was mixed to begin with so like I said I may never see that again. I don't want to use too much gloppy stuff, but I'm going to rinse off my spatula because finding it with paint on it does not make me happy. It's very hard to work with once they're on, once that's on there. So as I go along, I think what I'm going to do is decide what color I might want to dip and pull next to things and just keep adding those things that I see. And maybe I'm going to want some more white than I've got. Where's my white? There we go. I hit it on myself. And I am just leaving a good part of the paint that's on the cards on the cards. And I'm dipping things. And then I'm going to, on occasion, remember <laughs> to use what's on the acetate card to go over the edge. I'm going to go find a color that I think would look good there and use it next to it.
Yes, I am focused. I have some gold and I didn't really use enough of it. I really want some more white. Move that right over that way. Pull it down. Pull it over. Speed painting! I don't know what it's going to come out like, but um, I'm going to take a chance this once. And hope that we get something good. That's a lot of pink on there. I'm going to drag this way. That's more like a swipe than anything. And I'm going to dip that right off. I think I'm going to let these, they're kind of thick, do their own thing. I see that big lump that does not belong. I see that blank canvas. I would be kind of surprised if this would work, but I've been pretty lucky, like I said. And I may want to put in some other colors. Uh, like, like what? Okay, yes. We'll let all of that be used right over the edge. Hard to tell if that's a thing that does not belong or just a lump of paint. So far so good. Every once in a while, instead of pulling, I dip, and then I take that big massive residual and put it somewhere else. I know I'm going to miss that white when it's gone, I tell tell you already. Might be a little more paint on here than I want, but... Um, doesn't seem to be working out too badly. For the first time I tried this. Beginner's luck. I want to pick up some of that and put it somewhere else. And I want that white. I really want to stick the basting brush in everywhere and, uh, and pull it, but that will completely change everything about this. And I'm, so I'm not really ready to do that. I am going to grab another Actually, no, I'm just going to use my Princeton Arto Catalyst Spatula. And I'm even going to put a little bit of paint on there and let it fall right down into that spot just to get rid of that canvas texture right there. And then pull that. Let's just use that a bunch of places, shall we? All right, that was my, my paint. Switched from acetate to catalyst spatula. Not minding too much what's going on. Probably going to be very useful to, um, to cover those edges. Just making some lines across, letting things blend a little bit. Pull and paint, I call it. Looking for spots that need to have me fill them in because there's still canvas there. Like that, and like that, and like that. And fully utilizing the residuals on my spatula and basting brushes, etc. But I do use GAC 800, so where there are thick areas of paint in this composition, I will not have cracking when I when it dries because I use the golden the golden product GAC 800. I'm going to try and let some of that paint fall over the side. I said that, didn't I? I probably said that repeatedly. So we're almost to a place where I actually like this pretty much, and most of it is 
more or less filled. And my desired result was to have a little catalytic conversion reaction between the colors. And the spaces. And those are kind of fun. I don't guarantee this is going to work for everybody. I wasn't even sure it was going to work for me. <laughs> but it was worth a try. And I had good time doing it and sharing it with you guys. Which reminds me, thank you all for keeping me painting. The donations through PayPal and Patreon will get you into a contest where there are seven paintings to choose from if you're chosen the winner, if your name is drawn early April. Um, it may be later than that since I'm not getting any contributions right now. Um, maybe I made bad choices. I don't think so. There was some nice artworks in there. Or maybe people are just busy paying for other things. <laughs> Which is usually my problem too. Like art supplies. Anyway. So, on my on my descriptive area below the video you will find my paint pouring recipe. As usual. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm always going to tell you about that. If you have questions, please just ask. I'll get, it, I'll get to you as soon as I can. I do sell my artwork. For anybody who has an interest in buying my artwork, please just contact me through YouTube and I will reach out to you and give you an email address and we can chat about that. I am just pulling paint now in little patterns, which is a lot of fun. I recommend it. Fun, I mean. If it's not fun, stop doing it. <laughs> it's not good for you to do things that are not fun. I know. That might be bad advice. We all have things we don't want to do that aren't fun. Taking out the trash and doing the dishes and things. Art before dishes. <laughs> I can only stand it so long and I have to do the dishes. I'm good for a few days. I'm bad for a few days is what I should say. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Anyway, I'm liking those little pull marks. And uh, that wasn't necessarily the, the modus operandi by, behind doing this, but um, I definitely like how they look. And I like using the residual paint on my spatula to do so. So I'm just pulling, pulling st as straight as I can marks through the paint. And it is in turn pulling other paint and changing up the pattern and making new colors and that's all pretty cool. There are some really nice cell patterns going on but um, for the most part that's not what this is about right now. It's way more about blocky geometric texture. This is kind of bothering me over here. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I know what I'm going to do about that. I can see what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to take my acetate and my paint on my acetate. And I'm going to fill that right in. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the residual over here, maybe. Because I can. Ooh, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link. It's in paperback and as a Kindle downloadable app. And a lot of you bought that, and thank you so much. Also, I want to say thank you to all of the uh, 54,000 as of today plus subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys keep watching the videos because you're helping me out. Help me make a living. Keep me making videos for you guys rather than having to go do something else or sell something else. And uh, I really appreciate that. I would like to have your thumbs up every chance I get it. So if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that helps my, you, my videos on YouTube, the placement. Yes, I did. I just added some gold there. And I'm going to drag up, drag up the, ooh, look, there's more gold here. I like those little pull marks. They're kind of fun. And I don't have to stop doing them. It's really cool. I'm happy. This is neat. I don't want to make things too even, but um, I'm OCD, so... <laughs> Chances of me not trying are pretty bad. 
but every time I touch my spatula down to a new spot and it adds another color, I'm just in love. So I'm just dragging my spatula right through the colors. Hey, I found a piece of canvas that was uncovered, but I think most of these other, most of the rest of this is actually pretty well covered. And I think I'm going to call it good. Although I really want some purple right there. Right now, I want some purple. I got a minute left. I think I made pretty good use of my time. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, saying, if you want to buy something, let me know. If you want a class in, in Spring Hill at the studio, let me know. Check out my Instagram and my Pinterest and my volumes of Facebook albums holding the YouTube Wet and Dry Artworks at the bottom of the description underneath the video. And check out the last, excuse me, check out the end screens after the video is mostly run. In the last 20 seconds, you're going to find my webpage address and... <laughs> You're going to find my webpage address and a list of, a playlist of over 500 videos. And if you want to help me out, just watch them. And thank you all for the great comments. You guys keep me happy. Every day you make me happy with your wonderful appreciation. Thank you so much. And uh, I love hearing you guys' stories about how I'm helping in your life. And that was the last, was it <laughs> the last mark I want to make? Mm, probably not. But um, we're going to run out of time in a second, and I'm going to call it good, if I can. And that was a lot of fun for me. I hope you guys had fun. And you've got to play. It's the only way to experiment. you just got to play. So, I think I said this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, going, I love you guys. I love all of you. And I should torch, make sure there's no bubbles. Usually when I pull paint as much as that, there really aren't too many bubbles. You're going to be gone soon, and I don't mind making some patterns. We torch to get rid of the air bubbles, but it also will release patterns from the combination of the, in my case, deco art pouring medium. I'm keeping an eye out for bugs, because they've been landing in my artwork today. Anyway, so we release patterns, but we also want to where was I? Where did I see that? <laughs> there it is. I don't think a little bit of that right there is going to hurt anything. I'm going to be touching up my edges for a little bit and trying not to restrain myself the rest of the time. Um, but I think it's going to look pretty much like that the next time you see it, for the most part. And uh, I've told you everything I need to tell you that I can think of. Except that that's got to go over there a little bit. I probably should have checked to make sure there was nothing on that spatula, but I don't mind because it looks kind of cool. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. This is, I already told you who this is. <laughs> Priscilla out. Ooh, I'm going to pull back a little bit more. Take care. Bye for now.